All right. So I was asked a while ago about uh, overlapping letters. And I was like, what do you mean? And they're like, oh, well, when I do outline, I see overlapping letters such as this, where they, you know, wrap around and they touch things. This is a bad example of a font, but it's good enough that I can show how to create well, this, where you get rid of that problem. So obviously, you know you need to cut in here as a scroller. You know you need to cut in here. You know, and the same thing with the A. But you have these little nubs. If I zoom in here, you see how this overlaps into the W. This S is really into this H. And it just looks weird. Now, yes, you can print this off onto your piece of wood and... You know, just take a pencil and sketch where you want to cut, and you're good to go. But if you want it to look like this, where you just have nice clean lines and you know where to cut, you don't have to worry about guesswork of overlapping images, you can come up here, select your text, which, by the way, if you... Let me rewind here. When you write things, usually comes out looking like this. This is what it looks like if I was to print this out right now. And it looks, you know, all right, well, I don't want to waste that much ink. That's like ridiculous amount of ink. Can I go do a lighter grayscale? Sure, but I really don't feel like wasting that much ink even on a grayscale. So what you can do is come down here to stroke where it says none, right click it, go to black. You'll see this thickened up. You can go to uh, right click the X and come to fill that removes the fill and now it looks like this now you can see your little overlaps now to make it look like this you come up to path now make sure you have this the way you want it meaning your letter spaces so if I come here and I'm in the letter editor I can space my text a little bit more I can bring them closer together further apart you know whatever I want to do with them I can adjust those settings up here offset them, all that fun stuff, but that's a, another tutorial for another day. Um, so now the task at hand is, well, I still have this overlap that looks ugly. It might confuse me when I'm printing. It's also not professional if I was to say to give you this pattern. You know, you're gonna look at this and go, what slop is this? Well, to make it look a little better and cleaner, you want something like this. In order to do so, Again, make sure this is exactly the way you want it, because once you do these tasks, you can't edit this anymore. So what I do usually when I'm going to start doing this is I'll make a duplicate copy of it by hitting Control D. I'll scroll it up here, and this is the one I'll edit, and I'll leave the original alone, just in case I need to change anything or don't like the way this looks space-wise and all that. Anywho, once we have this, we come up here to Path, go to Object to Path, Okay, so that's here to here. Once you have that, come down to your text, right click it, go to ungroup. You'll see a bunch of boxes going across here. So once you have your boxes, now these are individual boxes. You can literally now move your, whoops, I double clicked on accident. You can move your letters any way you want. You can even come up here like this, you can make the A come over here, you can select the H, bring the H down here anywhere you want, the S, this is just, you know, for fun. Anyways, once you have this, make sure to select all your letters. Once you have all your letters, you come up to Path and go to Union. Once it unions, well, all your lines are gone. So now you have your text. Let me go back to the original. I'll do the same thing. So we're going to, before playing with letters, you have your spacing, so you're good. You have your letters, on, you know, path, uh, object to path, right click, ungroup. Obviously I can't regroup this. Well, I can regroup it through here. Um, so now we're ungrouped, but we're all selected. You come to path and go to union. This will then weld all these together, and now you're good to go. Um, again, if you have letters that are separated and you want to bring them together, you can by 
adjusting this. If you have a problem with this jumping around locking node thing up here is a enable snapping. If you select that, it will now allow you to move this around anywhere you want. If you hold down shift, you can slide this up and down on the X and Y axis versus going anywhere it wants to go. And you can line things up a little bit. Like I want that one there. Bring the S over to say here. Just have to make sure that the letters are touching in some way. A little bit of an overlap like this is enough. Once you have it, select, oh, let me move the N over so that the N is touching. So that joins the fun. Select all, path, uh, union. And there you go. You now have your pattern. This is one solid image now. If I'm to fill this, so if I come over here, I can say fill. It's one solid pattern. I can thicken the stroke if I want to. I can remove the stroke completely. And now it's just a fill. Um, but again, for printing purposes, I want to save ink. So I'm going to set my stroke to black. Right click the X and go to set fill. Fix my line thickness by right clicking the numbers coming here these are your measurements so right now that line is one millimeter thick i prefer to be in pixels and hit one and you'll see how thin that is now so i can zoom in here this is nice and thin uh, if i go to fifth on my computer this is the actual size at least on my screen resolution is 54% is actual size. If I was to print this, this is what it would look like one to one. Um, anyways, so hopefully this helps you out. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, if not, send me an email or contact me through my site. All right. Thank you.